I think if uh, any of you have been at the panels or saw the Bible special last week, you know the love, the esteem, and the pride that people have for Mr. Freeman. And you know, the special gift he gave away. And also for his vision, his courage, and willing to take a chance on an island far, far away in the Pacific. And that's why I'm extremely privileged and honored now to ask Mrs. Rose Freeman to come to the microphone and to receive your law. So much love, all of you, your lovely hula. Uh, did you notice my daughters? Yes. My, my mother taught them the hula. Yes, they, she taught me the hula. Would you like me to do Hilo Hattie? Yes. <laughs> um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, James MacArthur. There is no more special person in this world than you. Jamie, you have a special father. H.P., we haven't met, but I know you. Hi. Uh, Camp Fong, Zulu, I'd like to have been on the set with you guys. <laughs> You're a devil. <laughs> You all must have really had a good time. Glenn never told me about those. <laughs> like, yeah, this wasn't in my speech at all. Uh, but really, my heartfelt thanks to you for, for honoring the memory of Glenn and Jack Lord, of course. Um, and I want to thank you fans. You are, by far, the most remarkable people. You're fantastic. You know more about Hawaii Five O, the show, the cast, than I will ever know. Mike Quigley, uh, I'm learning more about uh, Five O from the uh, internet, the web, the website, whatever it is. Uh, I have friends that send me everything that, that goes out onto it, so I thank you for that. Um, I'd like to introduce my our family because I'm very proud of them. My three daughters. Robin, Lisa, Susan, stand up. And my beautiful, dear, wonderful grandchildren, Heather, Lindsay, and Matt, who stand up and wave at everybody. <laughs> and my sons-in-law, Matt Bernstein and Kevin Gagel. <laughs> and over yonder at this table is my nephew, Dr. George Solomon, and his wife, Susan Solomon. Stand up, George. <laughs> George, George was very involved in uh, the pilot of uh, Hawaii Five-O. He was a consultant to Len, and as a matter of fact, he introduced him to uh, Jolly West. Um, and they went to the University of uh, Oklahoma, Dr. Jolly West, and uh, that's where they learned about the deprivation tank. And from these ideas, which George led uh, Len to, came uh, the idea of Cocoon. Thank you, George. He also uh, consulted a lot of shows. 
Corinthian psychiatrist. Um, I'd like to add two names that haven't been mentioned tonight. One of them is Morton Stevens, the composer of the theme music. Morty and Len were poker players. They were. They just happened to be at CBS at the same time, and they just happened to click and just happened to have a good marriage, along with the help of a man by the name of Hal Lewis. I don't know if anybody here in the room knows about Hal Lewis. His name was Aku. He was a disc jockey in Hawaii. He played the theme music of Hawaii Five-O on his show every day until the music just wafted across the Pacific Ocean, hit the mainland, and it became a successful song. Um, so I want to remember those, um, those two. Let's just say aloha really loud. <laughs> One, two, three. Aloha! Thank you. <laughs> okay, 31 years ago, we made our first trip to Hawaii. In 1965, the man was conceived, and um, it went on to become Hawaii Five-O in 1966. The name was changed. It was Len's baby. He nurtured it as a parent would a child. It went on the air in 1986. 1968, I got dyslexia. And for 28 years, it's been playing somewhere in the world and still growing strong. Couldn't have been done without Jack Lord, James MacArthur, and the great team in Hawaii and in LA, the writers, the directors, the producers, the production staff. So in Len's memory, I say mahalo to all of you from the bottom of my heart. And there's one thing I've always wanted to do. Welcome, Dan. <laughs> say she really does dance a beautiful hula. Uh, back in Hawaii, we had an uh, evening in which she started dancing at the Kali Hotel, and just as she started to dance, the most gorgeous, beautiful moon came out over Cocoa Head, and it was just like the gods of Hawaii were gracing us, and we were by Rose Freeman. Um, and also, before I close this, just to say one thing, that 5-0 is not really dead. Now, for all of us who had the privilege of working as young actors and learning from Jack Lord and from James and Cam Fong and Zulu, we took those lessons and tried to carry it forward in everything that we've done from 5-0 up to Raven and anything else that we do. Because we learned professionalism, we learned dedication, we learned that to be an actor, you had to be prepared. It wasn't a game, it was something to be proud of. And we were very proud to have been part of 5-0. And I don't have a glass of water with me, but I certainly think we should all drink a toast to Jack Lord. So, so why don't we all say Okoli Maloon and bottoms up and good health to Jack Lord, Steve McGarrett. And the last thing I have is I have been asked to convey to you a very special message from the governor of the state of Hawaii. He has asked me to read this to you. A message from Governor Benjamin J. Caetano to the Hawaii Five O Reunion Convention. On behalf of the people of Hawaii, I send my greetings and warmest aloha to all of you who are attending the reunion of the Hawaii Five O Ohana at the Burbank Hilton Hotel. It is an honor for me to join with Hawaii residents with fans the world over in expressing well-deserved recognition and gratitude to the cast and the many people who helped create and produce this legendary television series. For years, Hawaii Five-O brought the beauty and traditions of our islands into the homes of millions and played an important role in making Hawaii an even more desirable travel destination. Today, a whole new generation of television viewers are being introduced to ever popular reruns to the exciting episodes of Steve McGarrett and his top-notch law enforcement team. My best wishes and thanks to all of you. For your outstanding accomplishments in the world of entertainment, and for your many contributions to the state of Hawaii. Aloha, signed Benjamin J. Kaitano, Governor of the State of Hawaii. And 
I think on behalf of you know what we want to I know when I mentioned this to Dad when we first came or when we first heard about last October, his words I think which were also echoed by James and Zulu was this was a chance for them to thank you for all of you are really part of the Hawaii Five Ohana. You made it special by how you received the show. And so I want to say thank you. Thank you for coming. We look forward to having you in Hawaii, where again, the temperature low is 78. <laughs> <laughs> and the weather is clear. So may you have smooth sailing next week. Come on over, and we're going to have one hell of a party. And now I believe we have an auction. Is Karen here? Thank you very much again, and aloha. And does every, everybody want to say welcome down? All together? One, two, three. Welcome down.